Fish and chips is probably the most famous dish from England, so I'm going to show you how to make it. Hi there guys and welcome back to my channel. First we're going to start with making the beer batter. Pour 200 milliliters of beer and obviously drink the rest. Then add about 100 grams of all-purpose flour. You might want to add a touch more flour or a touch more beer and give that a little mix round until it's nice and smooth. And then add some olive oil and add a touch of salt and some dry active yeast, about 6 grams. Make sure it's all nice and smooth and you're looking for a consistency, something like this. Now let's make the tartar sauce. Start with one egg, some Dijon mustard and a dash of vinegar. Blend that together before we start adding vegetable oil in very slowly. You want to do this a little bit at a time till it starts to emulsify with the eggs. I use a touch of olive oil and extra virgin olive oil at the end as well, just to give it a richer flavour. You want to be careful using too much extra virgin olive oil because it will make your mayonnaise bitter. Next we season with salt and dice up half of red onion, about 30 grams of gherkins, 30 grams of capers, a good handful of parsley and a big squeeze of lemon just to finish. And give that a mix round and we're on to the chips. So we're peeling our potatoes and chopping these chips down not too thick so we can get them nice and crispy. Store them in water and it'll also take away the extra starch and keep them nice and fresh. Then heat up some vegetable oil to 150 degrees and we're going to cook these for about 4 minutes just so they start to become soft. Then remove them and place them onto some kitchen towel to drain all that excess oil off. Then keep them to a side just to cool down. Next onto our fish. So we're going to season some flour and dry off our fish fillets. I was using hake but you can use any kind of cod or haddock or any kind of white fish that's not too delicate. So we give the fish a dusting with the seasoned flour and then straight into the batter with that nice yeasty bubbliness that's coming from the batter. The yeast will help the batter become nice and crispy when we fry it. So heat your oil up to 180 degrees and slowly lay your fish away from you but just cook in the end before you lay it in completely. Once you have all your fish in your pan just give it a little nudge so it doesn't burn on the bottom and we're going to cook these for about 3 minutes on each side. Then remove and place onto paper towel again and then we can throw in our fries. You want to cook these until they're nice and crispy. They'll take about 4-4.5 four, four minutes. Then again remove and put onto paper towel to get rid of all that excess oil. Then toss them in a bowl with some salt, pepper and paprika. And there you have it, beautiful fish and chips. Make sure you season the fish drizzle with a little bit of lemon juice, then plate up with that creamy tartar sauce, an extra lemon wedge, and you're ready to eat this. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.